He knows we're in a hurry, right? It's okay, John. Okay. Boy, well, if you don't put your foot on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's a black man for you. What's going on? It's your boy Sinter with Intel, and you already see the Geekish Network is in the building. Yo, coming in first, you're my man Johnny Randolph. What's going on with you, my guy? Yo, what it do? Back in the house with Sintel and my guys from the Geekish Network. Let's do this. Hell yes, sir. Yo, coming up next, my man Rakai. What's going on with you, my guy? Hello, Governor. Hey, hey, hey. And last and certainly not least, my man Chuck Charles. Tell the people what's going down, man. What it do, people? You know it's going down, Mr. and Miss Smith. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, episode eight. Listen, it's been like a couple of days since we've been piecing all this together, and it's been a lot of fun watching the numbers change with each passing day. When it first started, I think on IMDb, I think it had like a 5.9 overall. Now it has a 6.7 and is still gaining. Same with Rotten Tomatoes as well. Uh, it is now at a 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I think the word is getting out regarding that this is something that you know you should be paying attention to just like you should be paying attention to us at the end of this because we're gonna be chopping it up having a bit of a breakdown a critical critique if you will with some cool brown brothers so without any further ado let's get started okay that's a beautiful view yes it is you need some of the perks of being a spy yeah i mean except for you know People try to kill you, and you got to kill right. people right now. You know, just, you know, no big deal. Did he just take Pepto Bismol with some? I was like, like some syrup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yo, and he got right, some too. That's oh, exactly what you do. He got some party favors. Yes, sir. That's a gun pressed against your head. You move, I blow your head off. Hi, hi. What the fuck? You're a bad. Is that? Volta Lake Como, Italy. Secure mm -hmm. high value target Toby Hellinger. Toby Hellinger, huh? I'm already yeah. dead. I'm pretty much dead. Oh my god, stop breaking yourself up. We were fucking get in the fucking car. Oh, god, let me her. This is bad. I said, watch your head. <laughs> Fuck. Listen to me. We are not here to hurt you. We are here to help you. Okay? I promise. Mm -hmm. mm. He looked at her like, you know, you're lying. That's where we're staying. Yeah. How long are we here for? Stop asking questions. Can you undo my hands? Because I really got Oh, watch out! What? Toby, stay low! Damn! Damn! Damn. Right. She called She's it. Yes. Damn! Okay! You got this? Be careful. No. Nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. <laughs> To a Go. Spot where bullet, 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 bullet. Yeah. Well, then beat up and they'll get out of the way. Bullet riddled Maserati. I need to get. How do you say move in? How do you say move? Like that. It's a, it's a universal language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh damn. damn. Wow. Yo, this wow. episode is off the chain. Dang. Get Toby. Damn. Damn. Oh. Oh. Huh? Your yeah, airways. Get breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. Sick of them, okay? Man, I played enough Call of Duty to know the owner to be standing in the open like that. <laughs> yeah, you're yep. standing open. <laughs> no, 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 same. C CIA, CIA, same people, no problema, okay? Okay. Oh, the double. Oh, who are they? And bled all in the sauce. Excuse me, Miss Scusi. We're gonna have to jump. I can't make that jump. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. It's easy. He will break both his hips. He knows we're in a hurry, right? It's okay, John. You okay. Boy, if you don't can. put your foot on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's a black man for you. Fuck it, I'm not doing this. Yeah. John! Yeah. Are you okay? Get off! He made it. See, you jumped. <laughs> this is fiction. Oh. Jesus, Toby. He did tell you. What do you expect? You just pushed me off a fucking building. <laughs> pushed him off a building at 70 years old. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Can you imagine pushing yeah. a 70 year old off a building? Budget Lots of money. Please. Another universal money talk. language. Yeah, another yeah. universal Hell yeah. Guns Hell and yeah. money yeah. talk. Yeah. <laughs> Whose house is this? 
Well, if it's a safe house, I hope it's safer than the last one. <laughs> Agreed. How do you know yeah, the code? He, he, ain't, he ain't lying, Clarence. Look, I feel like this is John's old crib. This is John's old crib, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sick how? I don't know. I Look think it's seasick from the boat. Or... Seasick from the boat? Oh, no. You pregos. Uh -oh. Oh, she pregs for real. Yeah, yeah. That's the Hollywood rule. You mean you bought it? I bought it. Bought it. You... you bought it? Yeah, I got us a house. <laughs> And you shared it with the yeah. oh my gosh, you shared guy? it with an asset. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no, I am not joking. She's about to freak out now. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, it's a good thing I got it too because now we have a safe place to stay. Oh, she wasn't ready for that level of commitment. She mad. Mm -hmm. How you gonna buy a house and not tell me? I, I saw those pictures and I, I just pulled the trigger. John, you're supposed to get grapes and coffee, not a fucking house. <laughs> Thanks. As somebody who has a lot of money. You still gotta be careful how you spend it. That's what I say all the time. Oh, don't do that. Not in front of company. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's keeping it real with him, though. Like, I want you to see uh, that it's kind of a big deal I, that you would make. Don't deal. touch that. Dynamite? It's dynamite, dummy. Okay. You dropped the dynamite. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work, Jane. Mm. Jane, build not, some type not of you way. Too. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Good, good work. work. Just is, keep up. This the is work. how you lose your partner. Feels like it could fit. Okay, let me see it. Nah, it seems itchy. Or maybe when they tell her she's ready to advance, they're gonna give her the kill order on John. Gonna take him yep, out and get a new John. Mm. You're just not his cup of tea. You know, I've done some really fucked up, nasty shit in my life. I've never thrown an old man off a building. <laughs> Come on. Mm -mm. Toby, come on. Take your medicine. Mm -mm. Toby, <laughs> please. This is good for you. <laughs> he's like a child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's 73 and he's rich. Of course mm -hmm. he's... Could be the Russians. Could be the Saudis, maybe. Small chance the Brits. Are you some kind of evil colonizer? We had a long day, okay? We just... <laughs> How evil are you? I mean, I'm not, I'm not Hitler evil. Okay. Yeah. Who happens to still be alive, by the way. He's like an arms dealer or something. And I say, why six acrobats? He says, you see, Ava, I told you nobody cares about the Jews. <laughs> mm. I don't want to laugh at that. Edit that out. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I don't want. I don't want to be on camera laughing at that. That's so mm. Give me my cigarettes. You promised me. They're not good for you. Dang. Dang. Calm Sit down. down. Stop. Hey, John, stop it. Shoot me. John, stop. Shoot me, motherfucker. Stop. <laughs> Are you serious? Stop. Shoot me, motherfucker. <laughs> that sounds so real, too. Ah, uh, he meant uh. that. He meant that. See, what's crazy is we don't know his level of evil, so right. I don't know if I should yeah. feel sympathy for this cat or not. You know what I mean? See how you could be sending John the same type of message. Yeah. So it could be. Yeah, we could be. I wonder who he is. And... <sighs> Come on, man. I couldn't have been the only one that had a part like that back in the 80s. Tell me. I this old nigga has been no, so we don't have part Okay, all right. <laughs> I just want to make sure, <laughs> to make sure it wasn't just me. <laughs> I want to smoke it <laughs> and give it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's all you. <laughs> so joint? That old man. Nah, it's just a cigarette. A regular cigarette. 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 Well, cigarette. It's got yeah. a filter on. I think we may have ruined their life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they did have a shootout at their wedding, so. If it were private, if it were just two people. Because oh, you know, it would feel real. Yeah. They're talking about getting married for real, for real. Yeah, they will have a little ceremony. I vow mm -hmm. never to make you feel delusional for thinking your cat's never going to die. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to. And I vow never to kill you. Oh, now that's a vow. Damn. That's a, that's a vow for you. You remember how much like he looked so young in the beginning of the season? He looks so much older now. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You done killed, that's you done killed me and in the jungle. About to have sex outside and they have a subject in the yeah. fucking house. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it all. Be... Yeah. All of they are a yeah. wild yeah. couple, you guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did he say he's going to put a baby in her? Oh, oh my God. I think I threw up. Uh, I thought you smelled that cigarette. He's like a child. He really is like huh? a baby. Now. Come on. Come on. Yeah, for all I know, he didn't call them. Hey! Damn, they, like they come in ninjas. Deep. Yeah, they like some the... ninjas in all black. Now you know his old ass can't get up there. Oh, never mind. Coming down the walls. Yo, yeah, it's got to be the agency that's snitching them out because they who else would know that the they house. were there? They got the dynamite right. in the house. Remember, they're gonna blow up the place oh. when they get away. Blow up. Boom. Good call, Chuck. Get most of them. Yep. Yeah. Smart move. Work faster. Work faster. Yeah, blow up your home. Work. Don't look. Don't look. Go. Go. All right. Why are you looking for? Go. Why are you looking? Oh, come on. Yeah. Why what are a transition. you looking? Oh, love that score. Let's go. I mean, it's like romantic, and it's like how'd you do it? It's, but they just left a murder scene. Dynamite stick, popped it in the stove. Oh, she put yeah. it in the stove. She ain't like that house in no way. <laughs> <laughs> I confess. I want to cleanse myself. Mm, we don't need to know that. Myself. She want to know. Where are you got any baby shorts? He's at home. Right? Some wine. Uh, no, not at really least he ain't got his shirt off again. <laughs> But he got a sweater on. Why are you, why are you asking if I'm pregnant? No wine. You told the family you were pregnant. You felt sick on the boat. Mm -hmm. Being, being really maternal. See, it's not just me. Yeah. It would, it would have been nice. You know. It was, Damn. It was. It was, it was yeah, fun to like, think about. I'm trying to get moved up. I'm trying to. And he's do some up. more he's a, jungle he's shit. He's in love with her. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would have been a good thing if I was pregnant right now. No, not with y'all running missions. True. Do I need to have a reason? You kind of do. Uh, we're assassins. Um, Don, you want right. to bring kids in to this life after a day like we had today? Right. I mean, people to raise kids in a dangerous situation. It's called Detroit. This I'm is. Facts. <laughs> 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 we are not in a place to have kids. We'll do low risk. Yeah. What? I'll, I'll do. I'll do low risk. Like we'll we'll deliver packages and we'll, we'll stack our money doing this and then seriously. Then love and wants the family. You would be happy with that? Cause I I, I don't think I would be happy with that. Mm. I don't want to go down. I want to keep going up. I thought mm. we could have higher risk eventually. I ain't mad at her. I didn't call you stupid. Uh, I know what you're saying. Just kind of simple man. Who the fuck is that? No, last time I got a package, shit, the damn cake blew up. Mm -hmm. So it's from high high. Look, we've been listening to y'all. We don't like what we're hearing. Somebody better get promoted. Yep. Congratulations. Well done, Shane. Mm-hmm. Need to use it before me. <sighs> no. Okay. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, because he seemed pretty damn solid on his mission. Like, yeah, he did. yeah, this I mission. About just buying it. And, this mission he did. He did. I mean, but he did a majority killing in, in the uh, in the jungle. Mm. You confiding in the wrong thing to confide in. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, but I think both of them got a, a whole lot of stupid in them, though. Yep. Wow. The fact that they ask means yes. That's what they're expecting. That's deep. You say yes, you know that means something bad has to happen to yo John. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Oh, that right. Like, I feel like she has to say yes. Wow. Like you don't, 
you don't threaten to kill somebody, right? And he'd be like, oh no. So where do we go from there? Yeah. If she, if she says no, where do they go from there? I mean, whoo. It's know, like when your boss asks you, do you want to do this task? <laughs> you don't be like, nah, I ain't doing that shit, fam. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Ah, nah, man. When your boss come to you, when you when they come to you, and they like, hey, you want to get promoted? Nah, I don't want to do that shit. It's gonna stay right here. And it's eleven that they assassins. Just my, just my thoughts. You don't say no. Mm. Well, as far as the relationship standpoint is going, we're advancing. You know, they're they're definitely in the the honeymoon phase is over. They've been in it. You know, they've seen the jungle together. Everything's in cruise control. One person wants the next step. That's, you know, and with most normal people, that's marriage. Most normal people you consider, you know, is, is this person the right person to maybe even have kids with? And that's where we are with these characters so far. How are we feeling about that? Um, I feel good about the characters. I think we're at is a good spot. I think they fell in love too hard, too fat. Well, he fell in love with her too hard. I think she's trying to kind of pull him back on it right no he feels a void no because she doesn't she's not she's an introvert doesn't really deal with people has emotional uh connection problems and he's that void and all the hell they're going through but i think he's one of those people that actually do care about her like he was excited about her being pregnant and all of this which is crazy to me y'all you just ran through a bunch of houses in the middle of italy up some stairs, jumped off a roof, got onto a boat. You watch your what would be pregnant wife drop a stick of dynamite into a uh, uh, into a furnace to blow up y'all's house. And you talking about bringing a baby into it? <laughs> Sexy. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> it is right. Y'all hear how ridiculous that is? I think he's a sucker for love ass dude. He's been he's been in love with her the moment he saw her. Hmm. Hold on. Now he's to be puppy. fair he's to been him. A puppy dog. Now to be fair to him, okay. uh -huh. when he when he uh went rogue on the mission and damn near froze his Johnson off, uh she was the one sitting by the tub, damn near crying. Talking, and he said to her, he said, oh, you care about me. And she said, and she turned back and like, no, I really, really care about you type shit. That doesn't mean love. <laughs> it's a big difference from, you know, giving him a hand job to warm him up and save his Johnson <laughs> to be like, let's have a baby. Let's bring a baby into this crazy, crazy no, lifestyle. She was, but that wasn't about saving his Johnson, though. That was her <laughs> crying because he almost got himself killed on side of his damn mountain. And he's mad at her to turn his damn location off. She can't even find him. Yeah. <laughs> she blew her no phone kids. up a hundred times. They can't bring no kids into this lifestyle. <laughs> no, crazy. absolutely not. I don't know what type of shit. He must have did a line too. He must have had him some that coca. Let me ask you. Let me ask you something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Job aside, are they in a toxic relationship? Hey, oh yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean. They've always been in one. She literally set up like cannibal porn. <laughs> she thought he was <laughs> to, you know, to consider, like everything about them is toxic. But I do wonder what, huh. how much Good. time has passed from episode four to this current episode and how many missions they've had between them mm -hmm. and how many, like, you know, she was seen as the better, the better partner in this to warrant the uh, company to be asking these questions about replacing yeah. him and her moving up to more damage. Which is well, funny though, because you know, in the movies, it was easy to see why Angelina Jolie was the better one. She was better than Brad Pitt. He flew by the seat of his pants. Yeah. You know, and how, Donald, how he though, had right? his his whole partner with, you know, Vince Vaughn, that didn't help. Um, <laughs> but in these missions though they've been pretty even like and he's been more saving the day than she has i mean i don't know just my that was opinion. before uh -huh. but like between four and five we don't know how many missions they've had between episode right. four and episode five yeah I not only that I, um I, I i see the correlations in this episode mm -hmm. with him and her mm -hmm. to uh to the rich 
chick and her ex surfer husband. Mm -hmm. That couple is them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that. him saying that he would be willing to take a low risk and take care of the baby or whatever. You know, it's like that lady, she still gets the excitement. She's running a company. She, you know, the power, the money, whatever it is that, you know, that lady does, or, you know, she's an heiress or whatever it is she does, what company she runs. She's handling the day to day business. This dude, like, remember, he said back in the day, it was a power shift. No matter who she was, when he got off that surfboard, when he came in off the ocean, you know, and he's shaking his hair and the shit probably in slow motion, like an episode of Baywatch or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's standing there. She can't take her eyes off of him. He had the power dynamic. Mm -hmm. But once they had a kid and he fell in love with his kid, everything shifted. He's not even close to the man he used to be. And that's the thing about Donald. Like we started noticing, you know, little shifts in his wardrobe, shifts in his personality. He's not the person that he used to be, you know? And I think more than anything, these two are trauma bonding, but they're not getting the same experience due to probably how they perceive family. He loves his mother and mm -hmm. can't think of, you know, he was told, paid to leave his old life alone. And he calls his mama several times a day. Mm -hmm. She was excited at the fact of getting paid to never speak to her father again. Yep. That's why I think that's why I think they 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 dug into who they really are. And he's always this loving, caring individual. Cause he reaches out to his mom. He, you know, he he talked to the old his ex-girlfriend, his ex hookup in the middle of the farmer's market. Like he's one who 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 loves attachment. He loves people. And he's that guy. Like you think when they were at the ski lodge, she blew up on the old couple. He was making friends. Mm-hmm. And thought that was weird of her. Even the woman, the woman where she was like, that's not our mission. Our mission is to record the conversation and that's it. And he said that that woman when he was in the in the, in the snow. It's like he's the person that does care and she doesn't. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have that. Even, have even that. that old couple, I think he was really in love with the idea of growing old with Jane and having what they had, you know, celebrating. Yeah, have somebody old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think he's well, he just one of those that. people that he loves love. Yeah, he said that. You know? He said it's something about, you know, settling down with somebody when you get older. So, yeah. He was willing to go lower risk, and she's only wants to go yeah. higher. Yeah, I mean, what's the old saying? Had the same benefits. If you had the same benefits, would you do go lower risk? And he's like, yes. And she was like, why would we do that? You got to think she decided when they jumped into the jungle, that was her call. Mm-hmm. That wasn't his. That was her call. But I think what happens is it's her plan and he does everything in between when they have to compromise on the plan. Mm -hmm. And he work, he saves the life. He comes, he saves the day all the time. Yeah. There, but it still it looks like her through. plan is going well. There's um mm -hmm. there's always there's always couples I've noticed in this show. Families mm -hmm. and couples mm -hmm. that they that they disrupt. Um we're at the ski lodge. It was the old folks. It was this episode. It was the family on the boat. They broke up a wedding. You know, it's like this, the, house. the house. Yeah, it's always like other families yeah. and other people that are in like other situations. Mm -hmm. And there's always like a, a teachable, learnable moment in those situations too that maybe they get through osmosis or or, or whatever. But I do think that's kind of interesting. Um, I have a question regarding um, uh, Toby, and we know he's a bad guy, self-proclaimed bad guy. And when they were about to hop on the plane, he was like, do you want to know what I did? John said, I'll tell you, no. I need, he wanted to clean himself. Why? Yeah. Why is that important to the story? Why is that important enough for the writers to put put into the script? I think it goes back to your point, uh, Santero. She was looking for a father figure. Mm. And she wanted to uh, peel back some of the layers of who this person was. Mm -hmm. I think as stoic as she is around everything, she found somebody she genuinely made a connection with. Mm. And so it was important for her to see, like, who is this guy that I'm sort of creating a bond with? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, because that wasn't really important to her character. I think that was more important to his character. Mm. Just like where he was talking about earlier about, you know, John doesn't like me. Um, and she had to convince him, no, he's he's actually nicer than what you see or whatever. And uh, 
He's like, well, I don't want to tell you what I did because then you wouldn't like me very much. You're like, well, how do you know I wouldn't like you? So now he's willing to confess. And I, I'm almost thinking that if he confessed, like they wrote that in there mm -hmm. because maybe, just speculating. Mm. Episode seven, eight, something like that. Later on, they find out that something that directly affected them or something like that. Mm. You know, something that they were like, oh, wait a minute. He was the dude who did what now? Mm. That something that would affect them or affect, you know, people that they know or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. They were like, wait, you mean to tell me we had him? I don't know. Just one of those things where, you know, hindsight, you know, the job is get this dude. He's important to the company. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you know, and then they look back and be like, this the type of people that we transport and that we didn't let go and i don't know i, mean, I think it's going to be more important to their arc later i, I think we, i think we witnessed a personality swap too because she was more curious about what toby did than john i think oh, john yeah, saw yeah, the cocaine yeah. and stuff and john was like "Fuck this dude he's bad like he right. saw him doing bad that's, things. that's so not he, our job it. and he, i assume he's bad so it's our job just to keep him safe okay like I'm, I'm more like you in this episode, and you're more like me. Okay. Mm. That that jungle, jungle changed everything. <laughs> my, uh, my, my, my last question to you all uh, is: um, each episode is a stage in the relationship. You first meet the excitement. Mm. You know, the next one mm. is you know the the honeymoon kind of phase. You know, we're we're kind of like we're, we're progressing through the stages of relationships. Mm -hmm. We've and we're already we just got the first episode of the of the halfway point done. What are you expecting or what story would you like kind of to blend into this regarding relationships? Because that seems to be the crux of this story. It's not it is it's very yeah. has very little to do with being a spy. It's it really is legitimately about the 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 beginning and possibly the end of a relationship. But what, what are you looking for with this? I think it I think it, this hard is and fast. it's gonna yeah. hurt. I think it's, I think at the end they fall apart. Yeah, and I think a hard. lot of it has to do with uh, she's at the point where she she knows he's whipped, and now she she's taking advantage of him, and she knows she's the favored, mm. you know. And in the relationship, it's like now the power dynamic is shit. It was us. Now I'm better than you. Mm. And mm. He has to deal with that. Mm. Okay. You sure you you back me up all the time? Our plans always go awry, and you always have an answer for me, John. But the company thinks I'm better than you. And see what makes me wonder is, and I have options she, too. She said, no, he said, I promise I won't kill you. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Mm. I feel like there's a hmm. bit of confidence that maybe you know in him as well, but he's playing it a little differently than she mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. I think a lot. I feel like they're dude, both like being played. Much. Yeah, I feel like they're both being played. I think so. I think so. And I think I think when that last couple came, they like and they looked at each other. And he was like, "Yeah, I lost my Jane, and I had to get a new one." That they understood that he may have killed his Jane. Mm -hmm. Not that mm -hmm. Jane died out there, but he may. And have that's killed his and Jane. that's why he said specifically to her, "I would I would never kill you." Mm. Yep. Mm, that's interesting all right hey that's a good place to kind of stick a pin in this hey if you've been enjoying the conversation be a friend of the channel of course hit that subscription button and give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you and if you want to get to know these jits a little bit better let's start it off with chuck go ahead and tell the people how they can get in contact with you y'all can contact me on instagram facebook linkedin twitter at charles bab b-a-double-b and we're always there i'm always there and i'm always talking mess <laughs> so y'all can come in and get caught up in this mess get a little dirty and, and enjoy the filth with me <laughs> appreciate that regard y'all tell the people how they get in contact with you on all social media at diamond mind d-i-a-m-o-n-d-m-y-n-d -D, because it's all about this right here Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And closing us out, yo, Johnny Randolph, tell the, tell the people how they can get in contact with you and give them a little something, something about the Geekish Network. All right. You can check me out across all of social media at Johnny L. Randolph and the Geekish Network. It is the premier BIPOC network. We have dope people in front of the screen behind the screen. We have people out there that are making extraordinary contact 
for people who look like you. So support us. You can find us on YouTube, uh, Twitch, Facebook. All right. Hey, man, thank you all so much. Thank you for the comments. Uh, let us know uh, what we got right, what we got wrong. And the phone one is always, uh, what did we miss? With that being said, we will catch you all on the next episode. All right, y'all. Peace.